repeated phone calls to police. And we're not just talking about five or ten calls. Police say she's called at least 11,000 times so far just this year. And they say they have tried everything to get her to stop. But the phone keeps ringing. Fox 13's Catherine Holly is live at St. Pete Police Headquarters tonight. So, Catherine, do authorities know what she wants? Well, Carla Jefferson has called thousands of times to 911 and the police non-emergency number. Call takers here at the communications center say she's always vulgar, threatening, and obscene. St. Pete Police, this is Lee on a recorded line. Every single call that comes into the St. Petersburg Police Department Communications Center is answered. Workers picking up the phones handle hundreds of emergencies and requests for help every day. They're talking to people who are scared, who are on the worst day of their life because they need police. And on top of that, they have to deal with somebody who's just calling to harass them. Officials say one repeat caller has been holding up the lines. Dialing in so often, call takers in the center have pause when her number flashes on the screen. She doesn't call to ask for any police services. She calls to harass, to cuss, and just degrade. Carla Jefferson has been arrested twice for the nonstop harassing phone calls. The first time was at the end of June, and last Monday, the 51-year-old was picked up again. This is not just somebody who's called police a few times or, you know, abusing the system a little bit. This is someone who is, this is just way beyond. We have not had anyone who crossed this line like this. According to police, over the last eight months, Jefferson has called at least 12,512 times, accounting for about 10% of all the calls coming into the department's non-emergency number. Some days, she dials in repeatedly, making 406 calls on May 30th and 512 over 24 hours in early July, abusing a phone number and creating a serious situation. We're kind of at a situation now where her calls are interfering with our ability to respond to regular residents who need police response. Fernandez says Jefferson is not seeking services, and the department has dispatched their mental health team as well as officers to try and intervene. Police officers in person, on the phone, legal letters, everything you can imagine to try to get her to stop. And it persisted, so we had to file the charges. And Jefferson is facing three misdemeanor charges for making harassing phone calls and misuse of 911. Officials hope this will get the calls to stop and also get Jefferson the help she needs. Allie. All right. Catherine Holly live for us.